Video 23 April 20, 2011 Mithi, a friend asks, is harp, that emits frequencies through high power antennas, responsible for Japan's earthquake? For all we know, these primary experiments, the bombing of frequency in a connected network is an attempt to shake the planet's magnetic field, causing disorientation in satellite transmissions and causing windows, holes in the magnetosphere. To literally burn some target region using the sun as a weapon. It can be used to generate steam in oceanic areas to cause precipitation of rainfall in specific regions, for agriculture. This type of apparatus cannot cause earthquakes or tectonic movement. Do you know something about Patal civilization from another dimension? They entitle themselves as The Founders of this third dimension civilization, just to play with. Patal not that friend of yours? Well, that race or organization, I have never heard of. As I said, there are no races from other dimensions interacting here. Whoever says this is literally dreaming about that possibility. I do not understand why you humans insist on these theories of other dimensions interacting with you. These Founders Of the third dimension, who have created us, to play with us, do not exist. There are techniques of invisibility that can be confused with something from another dimension, just as there are generators of fields of invisibility in the spacecraft, there are also costumes that produce the same effect. These techniques cause a field of approximate 5 inches, fully enveloping those who are wearing it. We also have these suits but only use them when necessary to study very primitive beings, dangerous animals, or simply for observation. We can visit all of your bases, cities, and environments, but we remain in this dimension. We only use science to do it. Imagine if we were to take the costume field suit off and on in a place where observers could see us. They might think they were seeing some kind of ghost from another dimension. There are also techniques of holographic projection so sophisticated by your standards that you would imagine. You would be talking directly to that person, present in transmission. The energy is so dense that you can literally feel the touch of the image in you. So. Parallel universes may have different dimensions from our reality but do not interact with us. I'm in the same dimension as you, only at least 5,000 years ahead, and I can say we know for sure. If this is some kind of religion or belief, I will respect and not argue about it. No myth, it's not a religion for sure. Do you know if alien spacecrafts from Sirius B or if someone else is involved in the chemtrail activity? No, we have observed only your own aircraft, making the spray atmosphere. The reptilian race that lives in colonies on Sirius is not the same as the ones living with your governments. It is a quiet breed. Those who are here, they come from a planet orbiting a sun, in the region you call Scutum Centaurus here in the Milky Way. Any civilization from Sirius has nothing to do with it. Mythi, some friend is asking about an organization called Galactic Federation of Light. They are announcing their arrival coming very shortly in 2011 to get humanity off Earth to save us, do you know something about? See, I do not know this organization with this name. 
but from the information given, do not believe in its existence, or the real intent. No civilization linked to the community Galactica has the potential to interfere in that process with promises of salvation to Earthlings. There are no guidelines for this, or colonies for replacement because, as I said and I repeat, this depends on the individual level of frequency. This redistribution of beings by the galaxy. Halting this process would hinder rather than help. Perhaps it will be difficult in the current stage of development of Earthlings to understand that. It could be a palliative that would delay the development of Earthlings as a race by at least 100 years. So, be sure that this organization is not properly informing you of the possibilities, or you do not understand something right. If you have any further relevant information such as a type of ship, where they say they go, tell me. So I can make sure whether someone is abusing the good faith here. A friend is asking about the Yellowstone volcano. Do you have some provision about an imminent eruption? As I said, I cannot be apocalyptic. In general I can say it's only a matter of time before Yellowstone explodes. It will explode. If volcanic activity continues to increase in the Pacific, it will not take long. When the activity starts on the west coast, there will be some time to evacuate the area near Yellowstone. If new information becomes available I will tell you. Mithi, what about Europe and Africa? Is there anything planned for these regions too? In Europe and Iceland events will depend on the activity of the Central Atlantic Rift and the North American Plate, which is expected to move west. It is greatly increasing in activity and consequently launches a series of tectonic activity in Africa causing many tears or cracks in the continental plate with predicted movement to the south. In Europe and Iceland, all volcanoes will show activity, with emphasis on the volcano in the Canary Islands which has not yet awakened. Everything indicates the tectonic setting process will begin in the Pacific Ring of Fire which is the most neurologic area of the planet that received the greatest impact in the old days, and from there, all the plates will begin to adjust. A friend asks, could you explain in more detail about the Earth, solar system, colonization, and why the Mayans and I Ching predict 2012? Okay, in our early records, the Earth had another name and was known as Tiamat. The orbits were different, Mars was closer to the Sun, almost at the current orbit of Earth now. Tiamat then was further in a colder region with an orbit closer to Jupiter. When the first colonies were placed on Mars, the planet had a very comfortable environment for humanoids at that time. We're talking about almost 2 billion years ago. The techniques to generate atmosphere and acclimation of planets had not yet been implemented. At that time, all the orbits of the planets in your solar system had been greatly disturbed by a cataclysm, nothing related to Nibiru. A large wandering planet with many moons strayed from its orbit in a solar system of Sirius by another accident. And it went through your solar system. This event widened the orbit of Mars, and Tiamat was placed closer to the Sun, after being hit by one of its moons. Which actually ended up creating your large moon. The material for your moon came from most of the area where the Pacific Ocean is now. Permanently deforming the region. 
The material for the formation of the moon came out of Tiamat, and if analyzed, will reveal almost the same age of formation. Sometime after this cosmic accident, Tiamat began to show better conditions for colonization than Mars, and had very good material added to it because the moon that crashed into her had great mineral richness. Tiamat underwent at least 1,000 years of mineral dust settling before its surface could be seen again. Let us say that Tiamat only won in many aspects, in that cosmic event. The Mayans took into account by the information received. That your little solar system as with the Sirius system orbiting Alcyone which is within the complete constellation of the Pleiades, leads to a translation to the center of the Milky Way. That is a great cycle of approximate 200 million years, which is completed on December 21, 2012. Because this galactic orbit is tilted a few degrees to the plane of the galaxy center, coincidentally, these systems will be reversing their magnetic fields in the passage of the hemisphere. Based on this, a new era, a new translation around the center of the galaxy begins.